Okay, <clears throat> welcome back to JavaScript class. So now I want to teach us how to link our HTML file with the JavaScript file. Then we are going to code something little to confirm if it has been leaked. If the two of them have been linked together. So now this is our file page you can come here to the file you click on it it's going to bring you new file this is open folder and all of that so when you click on open folder so it's going to take you to your local file then if you have a folder you have created before for this you're just going to click on it or you can come to new folder and click on it so as for me i've created a folder javascript class so i'll just select folder okay so now here we want to go more professional this time so it's not just going to be simple simple create file create file create file as we used to do during html and css so this time instead of file we want to create uh, a folder so when you click on new folder then you write uh, let's give it JavaScript so JavaScript then inside this JavaScript we want to create a new file So inside this JavaScript now, uh, you right click. When you right click on JavaScript, click on create new file. Then we want to name it script dot js. So you see immediately the logo for JavaScript comes out. So this file now is inside another folder javascript and this folder javascript is inside javascript class please try to take notes so for css if it is css too you do the same thing you create a new folder you create a new folder and then you name it css then this way now this ESS is a folder and it is falling inside JavaScript folder. We don't want it like that. We want it to be a separate folder. So you can drag it to this place. And it's going to ask us if we want to move it into the JavaScript. Yes. So now in this case, JavaScript is a folder inside JavaScript class. CSS is also a folder inside JavaScript class. So now for this CSS, you right click on it and then you click on create new file then we're going to name it style dot css no. so now but for html we don't need to create a that standard way of doing it for html we don't need to create a folder separate folder it's just going to be a new file inside javascript directly so now a new file so let's name it index dot html so you see now it has fallen inside css folder so you can drag it outside here so that it okay so it is separate now even so you can see that's why i've collapsed these and i've collapsed these two this one is a folder this is another folder and this is a file okay so let's come to our html now so i've generated my some code so now how do we connect javascript to 
HTML. We have two ways. It's either we connect it inside this head or we connect it inside body. But the advanced way we do it now is to connect it inside the body. And you need to take note. Let's say inside our body, I'm coming. Let me quickly back space. So let's say inside our body we have some code and all of that. Um, JavaScript usually comes below. So JavaScript usually comes below, not here. So JavaScript do not fall up or something. It must be inside body element, but it must be the last thing inside body element. It must be the last thing before this body element. So you come here now and declare your script. Okay, so now <clears throat> inside this script, inside the opening tag of script is where we want to link our JavaScript. So we have three main things to put there. We are going to put the language, we are going to put the type, and then lastly we are going to put the source. So for the language just type ELN okay then for our language the language we JavaScript uses is called JavaScript so the language is JavaScript but in JavaScript there is something we call camel casing so camel uh, camel rakumi so we know the shape of rakumi that uh as it is going to the back it keeps getting higher you know it has this hunch very high hunch like that so inside javascript when you want to write some words together like java and script they are two different words together that must be written together you write java, java must start with small letter which is lowercase this is java but the following words even if there are 10 other words that you want to add to it, they must start with uppercase. So the script will start with uppercase. This way. Then after this, we declare the type. So we declare the type. So what is the type? We say text slash JavaScript. JavaScript. Don't forget our Java. You start with capital letter and the script must be with uh, uppercase letter. So text plus JavaScript. So what other things do we need to add? Then we're going to add the source. That is where you need to pay more attention. So the source. So the source now. <coughs> It's not just going to be uh, what is the name we give it here. It's not just going to be script judge js because it is not directly inside. You know this HTML file is inside JavaScript class folder, and this script is not inside that folder. It is inside another folder before the folder is inside JavaScript class. So for that, you start with dot, then follow forward slash. So this way to even bring all your folders, then you pick the one you want to pick from. You open this JavaScript now, then it's going to bring this for you. So let me show you what we have now. So can you see now? So it is now dot forward slash JavaScript. That's the name of the folder forward slash then the name of the file. Not again uh dot or what is the foot stop forward slash then the name of the folder then the name of the file so this way we have connected our html with our uh what is it called javascript
okay so let me delete all these that we have inside this place now okay now we have linked it to confirm if we have actually linked it successfully then remember this is where your script must be below so whatever you want to put inside this html must fall above this script okay so now let's go to script.js so little thing that i just want to put let's just uh, use this alert so alert then you open your brackets So you open your bracket and then what should we put? I'm coming. So inside JavaScript, you can use either double quotation or single. Any of it we do fine. So any of it will go well. So now alert. So let's say hello. Uh, where's my exclamation mark? So hello, then uh, the coin. Hello, the coin of web. So now let's save this. Let's go to our HTML to and then save it. So now let's uh, view this in our browser. You know we are opening the HTML now, but to our surprise, the alert that I put inside the JavaScript will show here. This is this page says, "Hello, the Queen of Web." Do you get that now? So this page says hello the queen of uh, this shows this shows that uh the two files have been successfully linked together all right see you in the next class bye bye